All right, another SAT algebra practice. We are going to simplify this complex fraction. And the way that we can do this is that just multiply the top and bottom by the lowest common denominator of the small fractions. And you see we have x plus 2, x plus 3. They are different, so we just have to multiply both of them. So go ahead and proceed. x plus 2 and also x plus 3. Multiply that on the bottom and also do the same on the top. So x plus 2 here and then x plus 3. All right, on the top, well, yeah, let's just keep it, right? So we'll just keep it x plus 2 times x plus 3. And the reason that I keep this right now is because we shall see what will happen on the bottom, and maybe there's some cancellations. And here's the usual common mistake. Take, this, take a look. When we take this times the first fraction, the x plus 2 will cancel, so we just get the x plus 3. That's good. And then we add, take this times that, well, the x plus 3 will cancel, so we'll just get the x plus 2. And by right here, sometimes what the common mistake is that people tend to just cancel the x plus 3 and x plus 3 because they look the same. But we cannot do that. Because on the top, you see, this is this factor times that. But on the bottom is the x plus 3 plus x plus 2. So we cannot cancel because we can only cancel factors that multiply. In fact, for the bottom, we'll just have to add them up, right? We just have to combine like terms. And uh, we will just get this and that, which is 2x, and then this and that, which is 5, right? Again, by the order of operations, we must have combined this first before we can see if we can cancel anything. But here we have 2x plus 5, and this is x plus 2x plus 3. Hmm, nothing is in common. And if you look at the answer choices, they want to, us to multiply this out. So we will. x times x is x squared. And then x times 3 is 3x. And then 2 times x is 2x. So altogether, we get a 5x in the middle. And lastly, 2 times 3, we get 6. So that's it. This is the answer that they are looking for. That's it.